Now all these contrived examples with train signals and cows and things, they're nice and they they work good in educational settings, but I actually should show you uh, day in and day out where you will experience these things. If you do any sort of development in .NET, very quickly you will encounter uh, events and event args and very useful things. Um, I'm going to show you some win forms, which is very old school. You should favor WPF, but I like how easy it is to drive home the concepts of of uh, these events and things with using WinForms. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say var but gets new button and bring in the using for system windows forms here and print print. I'm going to say uh, var form gets new form and I'm going to say form dot controls dot add but and then I'm going to say application dot run which basically brings up our GUI all right, so let me just run this raw as it is, and we shall see a black console window because it's still a console app. And of course, I forgot to show my form, so form dot show. All right, now hopefully we get. Oh, there we go. Here's our form, and it has a button on it, and I can click on it. There's nothing really exciting going on here. All right, but uh, I'm gonna say form dot show. Uh, let's say, but dot click to notice we get the lightning bolt for the event click when they click on you sender event args that's I'm doing a lambda expression here just simplify it uh, let's do message box dot show you whoops you clicked the button alright let's run this now of course there's build errors what's the build error unable to copy file because I still have it running in the background. Okay, bring it back up. Here we go. Here's our form. I'm take that down. I'm going to click the button, and there we go. Message box. So there you go. There's a very simple example, but a realistic example that hey, we're interested in the button click, and when the button clicks, let's show the message box. All right now, if I if I actually drag this out like a static void handler, or generally we name them something intuitive like the button was clicked. That's uh, object sender event args e and event args is empty and there's nothing useful in there but I'm going to expand this put this down here get rid of that and now I'm gonna say instead of lambda expression I'm gonna say the button the button was clicked okay let's run this again you'll see oh phew. Of course, we get a bill there. Expected semicolon right here. Thank you. Run it. Oh, I'm batting a thousand. I still have the app open back here. Okay, here's our form. Click. Same result. All right, nothing special going on here. Uh, you know, I'm, I just realized why that black console window is not going away. I need to pass my form here, and once I do that, I don't have to show it anymore. So let's just see if that works. I'm going to close this, and then I get the press any key to continue. Okay, that, that was my issue there. All right, well, event args, you know, not very useful uh, in this context. Let's let's make a few more buttons. I'm going to, we're going to do button, and then here I'm going to say text is button one. Control shift U to uppercase that. And uh, let's do but one but two but one click but two click so they both subs I subscribed to the event on both of them and then I'm gonna say form form controls add but one I believe I have to have to specify a location so if I if I specify the same location for each they'll sit on top of each other so I'm gonna put but two uh, let's put its x coordinate is it its x top Top, let's put it down a little bit. Top gets 100. It goes from the upper left-hand corner of the form. So, and of course that didn't work. Why didn't that not work? Because I forgot to add button 2 to my controls. Whew, that's probably why we use a designer to do all this. It's quite heinous when you're typing it all up. Okay, there we go. Two buttons. Um, click button 1. You click the button. Click button. Oh, this one says button 1. Uh, let's let's change it to a two copy paste errors there, and then here I'm gonna say you click the button. Button B gets button sender, 
And then now down here I can say you click the button. I can say what B's text is. Notice that the text just cause cause the buttons to not be blank but to actually have text on there. Oops, I closed it instead of ran it. Hopefully you're not too lost by now. Okay, button one, button two. I click the button. You click button one because we use sender. All right, close that. Button two. Again, sender changed to button two because we click button two. So that's kind of nice. And internally, the button is passing itself, and so I can differentiate between which button and what's going on. That's very similar to what we were doing with the cow thing in the last video. Um, but this event args, and like I said in the last video, you know, with a click, you're pretty much only interested that the fact that there was a click, right? But if we do um, some other events, like this one's kind of fun. I'm going to get rid of the second button because we we don't need it for the for this example. But I'm I'm going to say uh, let's say instead of subscribing to click, let's do but dot mouse look at all these lightning bolts okay and then in a future video I'm going to show you a little issue with having so many events but for now uh, mouse move when the mouse moves um, let's just reuse this say mouse moved I'm just renaming it because I'm trying to be professional and have good names alright but now I can say you moved the mouse alright in fact well yeah let's just roll with that I'm going to run that Okay, here we go. Notice I'm not getting any message boxes until I actually move the mouse over the button. It's like you move the mouse, the button. Yeah. Anyway, um, but notice what the we get. If I look at the mouse move, I'm gonna hit F12 on this this event here so I can look at the metadata here. Wait for it. Okay, mouse move it takes a mouse event handler or it passes it in. So now I can. Oh, this mouse event handler. This is this is a. Uh, another delegate type. So I'm going to F12 here, mouse event handler. And they made this before they made the, this is long before generics existed. That's why they're not using the generic version of event handler here. They actually just made a new one. But here's the convention it takes a mouse event args. And I wonder what kind of information is in a mouse event args. F12 on that. And look, we get clicks and delta location, but we can also look in the X and the Y for the location. Ooh, this is getting very interesting very quickly. So I'm going to take this mouse event args, just copy it for now. I'll close all these, go back to our code. Instead of saying event args, I know what's a mouse event args. Okay. So now I can use this to to uh, to do some fun things. Like I could say message box dot show. You move the mouse. You move the mouse, and then I can say e dot uh, location. All right, so let's just see if we actually get the location out here. All right, here we go. Hover. There's the location it registered when we when I moved the mouse over it. All right. One fun thing, kind of old school to do, but uh, it's still kind of fun is, hey, when you move the mouse, um, I'm going to take this button and let's put it out here and just widen its scope up a little bit and say static. Static button, but one. And I'm going to say, but one, actually, let's make a random as well. Static, random, ran gets new, random. And then down here, I'm going to say, but one dot, uh, is it top? Top gets ran dot next. Let's um, mod that by, let's limit it down to 200. And let's do uh, the left gets ran.next 200. Run that. And here we go. Watch what happens when I hover over the button. Boop, 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 boop. You know, this is something I saw back in the 90s. This is a clever prank we'd send around. But anyway, there you go. So there's a little bit more realistic example of events and actually using them with something in the class framework. Again, this is pretty trivial and pretty straightforward uh, compared to any sort of dot de 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 development. You'll be using delegates and events all over the place. But now, at least you can understand what they are, why they're structured the way they are, how you get information out, how you get the sender, and that kind of setup.